she asked about she's working in a wash in a showroom whereby they charge interest and penalties for late payment is the job halal now this is a combination of halal and haram the showroom that she works in sells halal products let's assume they sell garments they sell cars they sell uh, commodities this is halal you're not selling anything haram so your income from selling such things is halal the moment you are involved in filling up late payment fees or interest for EMIs depending on the payments method of payments or you facilitating their uh, collaboration with a bank to finance this and you're helping it you're cursed by Allah because this is riba a prophet said alayhi salatu wasalam la'ana allahu akila riba wa mukilahu wa shahidayhi wa katibahu may Allah azza wa jal curse five individuals number one the one who consumes riba this is the financial institution the bank they consumes riba number two the one who pays riba this is the customer who's buying a house on mortgage he is buying a house in riba number three and four the two witnesses who are maybe good Samaritans they're just witnessing they're not being paid they're just witnesses signing the name that yes he borrowed this from this and the fifth is the clerk the accountant who registers the amount a hundred thousand they will have to pay a hundred and twenty thousand in two years so if you're not involved in any of these paperwork or directing or collaborating on it you're just selling halal items then your income is halal inshallah